So I wanted to share with you today some of the tests that I've completed on the urchin to make sure it was ready for release. The first of these is the Owl Statue by Kushwa on Thingiverse. This print was completed using 50 micron layers and using the spiral vase mode which where possible attempts to do one long filament spiral from the base to the tip. The speed was intentionally set very low at 10 millimeters a second to simulate low flow conditions and this print represents a print speed equivalent to printing 10 micron layers at 50 millimeters a second. Because it is a single wall, you can also see any flaws in the print. All of the material is visible in the print and there is nowhere for holes to hide. As you can see, the print has come out very well and consistently with nice smooth layers across the entire statue. Another interesting thing to note is with spiral vase mode it is very difficult to seal top faces as the slicer is attempting to only do one long spiral. However, as you can see, most of the top faces have sealed quite nicely, although there are still a few holes at the top of the logs which are an artifact of the, of the spiral vase. To put the material deposition rate into perspective, I've put a p two pieces of filament which are equivalent to the amount of material that went into this owl side by side. This material took two hours to feed through the urchin extruder and has done so incredibly consistently. This is equivalent to less than 2 millimeters of material feed per minute on average, which is approximately 0.3 milligrams of material per second. The second print is the now famous Yoda statue. This print was a stress test to try and get as many filament retractions as possible in one print to test the reliability of the material feed. In this one print, there were over 6,000 retractions, and yet the extruder did not seize up even once. And as you can see, the layers, which are 50 microns each, came out very nicely indeed.